why is the letter E inverted? Why is it that you're looking at, at it through this microscope and it's upside down? Here, this is gonna be the ocular lens. So number one, this is the ocular lens. So this is what you're looking through. So let me draw eyeball here. Number two, what would this be called? The objective, yeah, so this is the objective lens. One of the defining features of these lenses, these, both of these lenses are known as convex or converging, converging lenses. Number three, so this is the condenser. What is the function of the condenser? What does it do? Exactly, it concentrates the light. So this is the light, this little light bulb, right? This is the light source. So number four, this is what controls the amount of light that's gonna pass through this condenser. And so what is this called? The iris diaphragm. Here on this schematic, coming from this light source, so light travels in, they're called parallel rays. Okay, so they're traveling in this direction. So it'll pass here through the condenser, okay? And a phenomenon happens. This phenomenon is known as refraction. So you have refraction and then a phenomenon known as reflection. If I'm standing in a mirror, what am I looking at? Am I looking at a ref refraction or a reflection of myself? I'm looking at a reflection of myself. And so if I draw a plane here, okay, when the light ray travels down, is it gonna go here or is it gonna bounce back up? Yeah, it's gonna bounce back up, right? So it goes up like this. And then this here is the plane of symmetry. So that's what reflection is when it bounces off. Refraction is whenever it passes through the second medium. Okay, so this is what a, a medium is. So the medium in this case would be the, the lens of the condenser. So the condenser is also a convex lens, okay? So what I'm gonna represent, so this will be N1 and this will be N2. And what this stands for is the index of refraction. So N, is equal to C over V. So what does that mean? So C is the speed of light and V is the velocity that the light ray is traveling. Can anything travel faster than the speed of light? No. Is this number is always gonna be lower compared to this one, right? Because it's gonna be traveling slower than the speed of light. So then this number in the index of refraction is always gonna be greater than one. So for instance, the index of refraction for the cornea, which is this part here of the eye, N is roughly equal to 1.4. Instead of reflection happening where the light ray bounces off, what it, what it does is it'll bend here towards the norm. We call this the normal. So let me erase this. So that was reflection. And this here is refraction. So you see how the light ray, it's, it's bent. So let me show you what that looks like. So here, so this is air and this is another, um, another medium, right? In this case, it's water. And so you see here, you look at the glass of water, see how the, the pencil is here? Does it look in a straight line? No, it's bent, right? Because refraction is happening. So once this parallel light ray is gonna travel through this condenser, the, the light ray will go down. So it goes down this way, and then it goes here through this lens. And then the same thing is gonna happen here. So it'll go here, it'll cross, here, and then it'll go like this. And so the object, so what would the object be in this case? The letter E. Right, this is what it, we're looking at. So this is why we call this the objective lens because we're looking at an object here. So when we say 
the definition of the condenser, what is it, what was the definition of it again? It concentrates the light. So you see how it forms this cone? Look at the intensity here, right? Because the light rays are converging here at this point and they're illuminating this object. And with this object, this is how we're able to form what we call an image. Once we reach here to the objective lens, now the light rays are going to converge. And when they converge, that's when we form what we know as a real image. The real image is going to be inverted, right? Because that's the question that we're answering, right? Why is the letter E inverted? It's because the light is going to refract here at this convex lens or this converging lens. And once it converges, the image is formed upside. It's inverted. So let's draw that. So this goes down. And then the light ray continues. So it goes there. And then this one's going to continue straight along this path. And so the image that's formed is right here the point at which the light rays converge. So we'll call this number five. So number five, that is our real, we call it real inverted image. Once, once the light rays converge, they're gonna continue, refraction is gonna happen again, right? Because it happened here once at the objective lens, now it's going to happen at the ocular lens. So once it passes through this medium, it'll go up to the eyeball. See the light rays refracting. For the real image, the definition of it, another um, part of it, so the real image is formed, so the image is formed, on the opposite side of the light source, which is here. This is our light source. Here is the real image. This is the light source. So the image forms on the opposite side of the light source. But now we're going to discuss what a virtual image is. The eye is able to trace these light rays back. So the light rays will go like this. This. And the virtual image is what forms here. So we'll call this number six. So number six, this is a virtual. Is this, is this image inverted still? Yeah, it's still inverted. So it's a virtual inverted image because it's just magnifying this image that's here. So the real image is formed within the tube of that, of the microscope. Our virtual inverted image, and where is this image formed? Is it on the same side as the light source or is it on the opposite side of the light source? The same side. So do you see the difference here between the two? So, the image is formed on the same side as the light source. And are light rays converging at this point like this? No, they're not. So with the virtual image, the eyes trace back the refracted Light. All right, so they're tracing it back because this image isn't real. It appears as if it's, you know, right where the stage is, but it's not actually there. It's virtual. Once again, what happens? The light source, the parallel rays will travel through the condenser. They will converge. They converge here. They get on this, on the objective lens. Once they get to the objective lens, refraction happens. They converge at this point, they form the real image. The real image, so what is the real image formed by? The objective lens. So the objective lens is responsible for forming the real image. This is very important, right here. The objective lens is what forms the real image. 
and the ocular lens is what forms the virtual image.